takes the opponent's things and it is so fun um yeah so I'll, I'll explain how this works we have the obvious mechanism of claim the firstborn and shackles of treachery so we have four cards two of each and they can gain control of target creature until end of turn untap gains haste so they can you can use it as a um attacking creature and then we have various things we can do to get rid of that creature we have two village rights so you can sack and we have two which is cauldron so you can sack there are you can also if you have the mana and it's later in the game you can bring on after taking control of something cardur's vicious return then you can sack the creature and then deal three damage to um any target and then you know it would run its course here but you get to return a creature after all that uh second one discard for both yourself and the opponent which in some cases can be a pain but um then you get to return the target creature from your graveyard to the battlefield and put a plus one plus one counter on it and gets haste all right so that's one way we can steal another is that um let's see if we can so the draugr necromancer if this is on the board and you kill anything and we have loads of kill spells in here um or anything would go into the graveyard let's see it would die <clears throat> okay so it has to die then it uh, goes into exile instead and gets an ice counter on it and from there forth you can they are available for you to play as if you were using any color mana so um, I've had that happen. Sadly, I recorded a wild game earlier today and uh, thought I was recording and wasn't, but Draugr was unbelievable. There's only one in here, but I had a line of about six things that I could choose from to play from the opponent. Okay, so then, last but not least, we have the Trickster's God, Trickster God's Heist. And this, uh, you bring it on, you can exchange control of two creatures so this is great against decks with big creatures because we do have six of these guys that force the opponent to discard and so you can give one up it doesn't force you to discard and then you get a creature of your choosing from the opponent additionally you may these are both you may so you don't have to you may exchange control of two uh target non-basic non-creature permanent so you can do that with land and sometimes that's really effective where you can take away a key land from an opponent and, and give up a land that's not that important to you or you can exchange uh, something else in our case we don't have much else in that department so we'd either skip over that or do a land trade in most cases i mean we could ditch cardur um, but i wouldn't do it really um, or you can exchange this thing the, this very card and the only downside to that is that the opponent w would gain three life and you'd lose three life but you might get something really powerful so yeah so there's your um oh i what i did not say here is that we do have a couple turgid and of course we can steal stuff by virtue of that there's only two in here um so it's not the emphasis is not on that in this deck but I, you know that we are of course running the three soul shatter three of each of these and we have a Kroxa in here. So, yeah. And then, um, I'm not sure. What I haven't tried yet is sacking an opponent's creature after stealing it with one of these guys and sacking it with this if we would get it with Turgrid on the board. I haven't had that combination of things. It would be interesting to know. The other thing that benefits Turgrid is, of course, Skull Raid, which can force discard. So, yeah, all sorts of good stuff going on here. We have a Poison the Cup in here. Um... And we have two Farika's Libation in here. So um, excellent things. A little um, regeneration with Lyris. We have two in here so we can bring these guys back. Um, and that's kind of the whole nine. We do have two Bone Crusher Giants so we can use its instant uh, two drop deal to damage any target. And it's a good creature. Um, uh, three Extinction Events for serious removal. And that's it. We have a bunch of lands here, and that's all I'm going to say about this. Um, it works great. I hope you build it and have fun with it. And, uh, yeah, check out the games. And, hey, please consider subscribing. Leave comments, feedbacks, anything you'd like to see. Have a good one.
extinction event. That's a good addition. Okay, Melitus. So we'll be able to get something out of their hand here. Not going to show red quite yet. I'm going to stay put. Down to three cards in hand. Okay, okay, we could have a counter spell on board. Arcanist Arrow, okay. All right. Okay, that's an odd mana, so let's see here. I think we're gonna unload the even manas this turn. Actually, what I'm going to do is throw up Kardur, sack the Elder Fang, and take out, let's see, that's odd, um, take out the Owl. And we'll get to return Elder Fang with a plus one, plus one counter for more um, discard. So uh, Shambling Suit comes on, then I can run Extinction Event and kill everything but the uh, wall. Okay, did not bring it on. There it is, okay, perfect. Now I've got to discard a card. Hmm, tough call. I hate to discard any of this stuff. It's going to have to be Farika. I hate to do it because I lose the ability to Force the opponent to sack a um, enchantment. Right now, we're going to go ahead and get rid of the threes. The odds. Leaving us in pretty solid shape as we'll get um, Elder Fang next turn. They got two cards in hand. A clear card advantage at this point. We can get rid of that very quickly. All right, we got another Farika, so that was the right choice. They have to empty their hand. All the glitters, excellent. Don't want to lose track of the fact that I have shackles in here. Um, yeah, I got no choice here but to run Soul Shatter. Okay. No attack, so we've got an advantage here in a big way. They stay put. Um, we're just going to run Skull Raid. We'll see if we get a counter spell. Haven't seen one yet. Okay, there goes pacifism, is it? Yep, pacifism. We get a land, which is great. No attacks, major card advantage, all kinds of removal, bone crusher, and steal a creature. Okay, that's great. We got the cauldron, so that works great with um, shackles of treachery. 
We're going to sit and be patient here. We have all the tools we need. In fact, hoping we get a big creature to appear from the opponent. They've got to be reluctant. We've shown a fair amount of uh, kill spell so far. <laughs> They've got a decent creature. They're going to be hesitant to put it on the board. Vanishing Light. Okay. Um, I think we're just going to go ahead and use this. Cancel. No, we're going to cancel that. And we'll see what they're going to take. They're going to take the Cauldron. So we'll go ahead and sack the Elder Fang for card draw and life gain. All right, um, I think we're going to go giant to face. Mana, that's great. Throw the giant up. And we'll stay put. All right, what I could do at this point is ditch banishing a light. I think I'll do it. That's why Farika is in here. Um, not a huge consequence, but this gives me the tool I need for when I run Shackles of Treachery. I'm sure there's more Vanishing Light in this deck. Okay. And now seems as good a time as any. They're going to lose the wall. And now we can throw Skull Raid into Fortel. We got another um, Bone Crusher. Looking very good here. Okay, they're looking for cards. They have three mana left. Yet to see a counter spell out of these guys. A lot of enchantments. Okay, we continue to Get stronger and stronger here. I think we're just going to run Skull Raid, empty their hand. Ooh, some cards of consequence there. Kiora, which they're one mana shy of being able to run by Archon. Tough card. Um, come on in. We've got things available. Okay, wow. Okay, we're stacked here. And all the while, just keep pounding them with Bone Crusher. Sitting on seven mana. Eight. Bone Crusher, they can't take a lot more. There's two more turns, they're dead. Actually, the ideal situation is they put a creature down and we just go take it. And finish them off. Wall of runes, okay. That'll slow us down a tiny bit. They get to scry. We have the option here of eliminating that. Okay, all the glitters. Nice. Uh, there's a 1 5. Now, let's see, to kill it, I think to kill it is just the simplest thing here. That'll leave them empty. I mean, could steal it, attack with it, sack it. But this is great to have in case they bring a bigger creature. Okay, we're just going to poison the cup here. And 
And if they're not convinced it's over now, they will be after they draw their card. That's it. Trickster comes on. Dominant game. What we need is a little more black mana, which we will get shortly. Right off the bat, in turn two, uh, we'll be able to throw Skull Raid into Fortel. And there's the black mana we need. Let's go right in. So now at this point, once we have all the mana on the board, we can run shackles, steal something, sack it with village rights for card draw. Okay. Right now, we're just going to thin the herd, throw up Skull Raid, force them to ditch a couple cards. They've only got two mana, so they've got a limited palette of things they can play. So they might be ditching larger items. Ooh, it's land. Okay, and Charmed Sleep. Okay, glad to get rid of that. Okay. Okay, so now we can run it. Question is, what is the biggest problem here? So it is going to be the Piper. Which we'll scoop. We'll attack with. We'll sack. And this deck is all about stealing stuff. And here we have a whole, we can do this all over again right here. So we'll be rich with cards, start getting good options. And they're running lean on resources. Kind of hoping for a bigger creature. Getting a little bit low in life. Okay. Um, yeah, we got to do it again. We're stealing their stuff. It can't feel good. I'm getting flush with mana here. Got to return a card. Is there something worth returning? No, we don't have any returnable permanent creatures. Okay, Shadow Spear, I don't like that. We can certainly get rid of it. The question is what is the best avenue to do so? Okay, um, I guess we just go Soul Shatter here. I'm going to throw up Lurus for the hell of it here. Perhaps silly, but we just got nothing going on with creatures. <clears throat> That's a good life gain item.
gives us some options. Okay, there's gonna. All right, that's not too too bad. They're stuck on three mana here, twelve in. A lot of lightweight stuff though. So, okay, um, that's good to get in hand. We got loads of mana. I think what we're gonna do here is just. So I can say I can deal three damage. Okay, but he does still performs a function, so we're just gonna sit. Okay. Okay, yeah, we'll run the Elder Fang, and this is great because we'll be able to sack that with uh, our Dura. We can actually do it this turn. Deal three damage to the opponent. We're ditching a card here. And then we can bring the Elder Fang or something bigger if we lose something in the meantime back. The problem with that is we have to sack something. So I don't really like the sack, uh, not sack, but discard. Um, we're going to do it anyway. It does look like we'll be able to replay this with Luris. I hate to give up either of these things, but we will get card draw. No, actually we won't, so we'll have to sacrifice one of these. Okay, they lose an enchant creature card and We have to give something up here. Okay, wait. No problem there. We can just bring it back. It's a waste. Okay, so I have to discard a card. <clears throat> it's going to be the cup. And we'll bring in the dis this disciple. And unfortunately, we won't get anything back on the last turn here. They're empty handed. Deck is light on creatures that we're playing against. It's like maybe a little subrat theme, but not much going on. Okay, so we'll do this. They'll lose whatever they had in hand. Oh, Kiora. Ouch. That hurts bad.
dodged a bullet with Kira there. They didn't have the mana for it anyway, frankly. <clears throat> okay. Oof. All right, we'll take that. Mr. Auger is an unbelievable card. And now they're getting a little mana. Okay, we're just all set here. We're just going to run, keep running at them. They can live for two turns here. We can eliminate anything they bring. We're going to want to preserve evens if possible. They get nothing. They're going to draw a card. That'll bring them down to three. That's the game. Finish it up with a Draugr. All kinds of weapons in hand, and that's a victory. Village rights and claim the firstborn and the Fang Disciple, and eventually Trickster to swap something out. This is looking very good. Okay. First up. Now we can go ahead and steal this. And if he blocks, then we'll get to put a token on the board. He's going to attack. No block. And that's just fine. We're going to do this anyway. Looking for another mana here. Okay, Goblin Gathering. You get the mana and the slight bind here with this. Hmm. Problem with Cardor is rarely am I willing to give up anything. So um, what we're going to do here is run Extinction Event and get rid of the odd. It's a pricey, high price to pay, but um, now I can block one of these and then bring Loris on and bring it back. A lot of red mana there. We may be able to kill Lurus right out. We'd love to get a black mana here. Any mana with black would be ideal. 
Okay, we didn't get it. So let's see, what does this do? And we're going to bump this guy up a whole lot. We really want to steal this thing. That's going to hurt. Okay, so now we're going to, let's see here, we're going to do this. <clears throat> and if they had a shock, this would be the time to use it on the Elder Fang. Oh my goodness, that's terrible. So that deems this card almost useless. Wow, that hurt. Okay, the good news is we can bring him back up. Over and over again, frankly. We have the mana for that now. They've used a shock, so assuming they don't have another, they, and they don't. Okay, this is not going well. These guys are putting some hurt on us at this point. Oodles of mana here. Bring on another red. Hmm. We're going to go ahead and get rid of this. It's hurting us badly, the Ravager. Then we're going to bring up Lurus. Hope they don't have another shock. We are going to get to exchange three life here with Trickster. Okay, this is just outstanding here, so... That, that takes care of that. We're going to hold off on these things because we can do some cool stuff next turn. We're going to bring up one of these. So what I'm hoping to do next turn is Possess one of their creatures with um, Claim the Firstborn. And then bring out Cardor's Vicious Rumors and we can sack their creature and deal three damage to any target. And yeah, we should be off and running at that point. Hoping that Luris lives here. That's what the big hope is, as we can continue to cycle these Elder Fangs up. land and that's the dream come true they won't attack and oh boy we have the uh safety plan here so here it happens
I'm not even going to attack with it. I'm gonna go right to face. We'll come in with Luris. Okay. Now, unfortunately, we are going to lose. This is what I hate about this card. Okay, we, we're going to ditch this, I believe. Okay. We're going to toss this up here. We'll come in with this Elder Fang. Okay. We got nothing to bring back, so I'm hoping they attack with something. There's haste. That's a good blocker for Luris. Unfortunately, I cannot block. think I'll outpace them. Got the extinction event. It's not time yet, though. We don't have an advantage by running it. But that could change. Okay, this is exactly what I want to happen here. Okay, let's see. They choose not to do that. All right. Yeah, we're definitely not doing it. I'm not biting at that. I think that they could very well have a something that bumps things up, so no blocks. And we're now going to come in with the... Jeez, I... I hate to run this risk, um, but we're going to do it. We're coming in with everything. If they have a bump spell, they can kill with this. If I can take these things out, it'll also kill my items. They do have it, so everything will be gone. And we're going to... That's a zero, zero. Okay, we kill everything. I shouldn't have attacked with uh, Luris. Everything exiled. They're empty handed. We've got an extinction event and a life advantage. A little bit of a roll of the dice there. Okay, and that hurts. We'll put the cauldron up. Okay, that's a perfect card for the occasion. We'll wait for them to bring something on. Okay, we've now got the makings of a win here. Ooh, we'll bring Draugr on. This is 
perfect trio of items right here. This will spell victory. And this actually works beautifully with this as well. So the idea here is, okay, there's the creature. So we're going to take that creature with this, sack it after using it and win. Okay, that's the game. So here's what this deck does. It's a stealing deck. Oh, we got another one. We don't even get to use the cauldron. It's over, folks.